Hello everyone, this is Golden Code here, ready to play some games with you. And today we are playing Pokemon Fire Red, a randomized wedlock. Um, for those of you who don't know what a wedlock is, I'm going to go over the rules real quick while the intro is playing. So, a no wedlock is has all the same rules as a nuzlocke with an extra little catch, uh, where you have to make teams that are married. Traditionally, this is a male-female pairing, but because gay marriage was legalized fairly recently and I myself have never been fond of strict gender lines, I'm going I've decided that I'm going to make it same gendered teams. So that means that my teams will either be male male or female female. Um and the other Nuzlocke rules I'm gonna be following is if a Pokemon faints, I must release it immediately. Uh I can only catch one Pokemon per route. I can have three tries to get the right gendered Pokemon, but after three tries and I don't find the right gender, I don't get I don't get a Pokemon. I am going to have the no duplicates clause, which means if I have captured a Pokemon before, if I have caught a Pokemon in the evolutionary line before, I cannot catch it again. I am going to go with the extra rule that I can only have six Pokemon. I cannot have any Pokemon in the box. So if I have a full team and I go into different routes, I just can't go into those routes to catch Pokemon in the future if I need to. Uh, and that will, that's going to be it. Oh, and I can only use one team in a Pokemon battle, so I can't uh, switch into a Pokemon that's not in the original team that I start using unless the, both of the Pokemon from the team I start using dies. So let's get started. Okay. So I've tried doing a couple of different Nuzlocke's here and there, but I do in really enjoy the videos and I want to make them myself. But I do understand that the people that are watching this have probably been playing Pokemon for ages, so I'm not going to play this like I'm showing you the game. I'm just going to play this, have fun, talk, and we're just going to have a good time. Yes, Oak, I, I, we all know who you are. Ooh, a Blissey. Oh, I should say, this is randomized, so I'm going to be getting random starter Pokemon. The Pokemon I find are going to be randomized. I do have it set for similar strength, though, and that means we're not going to be finding, uh, like, fully evolved Pokemon in Route 1. It's not going to be happening. Uh, are you a boy or are you a girl? I am neither, but I, I generally prefer the boy sprite, so we're going to go with that. What's your name? As always, I am GOAT. I haven't actually cleared this in my editor if it's okay to do a uh, game like this, especially considering how complicated I want her to make the editing while having a little screen around it. So we'll see. He's been your rival since you both were babies. What was his name again? Uh, I can't name him Blue. I can't name him green, I need to name him blue. I say as I misspell blue. Uh, so I'm sorry I haven't had a video update in a while. Things have been crazy and busy and that's not an excuse and I'm sorry. I'm going to do my best to get a more solid updating schedule. I'm going to be continuing Amnesia. Uh, Scapegoat is taking a bit of a back burner for right now which is because it's not really a sort of game that I enjoy. So we'll see. Excuse me. I would like to continue it at some point though. It's just... Fucking puzzles, man. Anyway. Here I am Pallet Town. So, I don't know how many of you are watching this got Pokemon when you were super young. I got my first edition of Pokemon Yellow and my first Game Boy system, which was a Game Boy Color, when I was 10 on my birthday. And I have adored Pokemon ever since. That's over- that's- for those of you who don't know my age, that's over 14 years of Pokemon love. And I've actually been spending the last couple of days breeding and trading and trying to get my national Pokedex completed so I can get a shiny charm. Shut up, don't judge me. I've got about 500 Pokemon done. If anyone has any legendaries, they're willing to touch trade me. Give them to me, please. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, this Pokemon Yellow was the first video game I ever played. I've had all of the Pokemon games so far. I didn't have Black 2 and, and White 2. Ah, sorry, I'm tired. Just because I didn't see much point. 
When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now in my old age, I have only these three left. Did you give- Because you keep giving them away to stupid children. Ah, uh, shut up, Blue. Y you think about it, Blue should- Gary should definitely have first pick, because, I mean, he is Oak's grandson. But we all know that he's such an asshole. Ooh! Nidorina, female. I do love Nidoqueen. Uh, no. Bulbasaur is not my choice. Why is the tech so slow? Nope! Shit! Shit! I didn't even check the other ones. I accidentally hit A. Fuck. I guess. Alright, we've got a Nidoran for our starter. I'm okay with this. I always name my Nidorans queens. That means our first our first catch is going to have to be a female. Get a lovely waifu for this Nidoran. I can't believe I didn't check the other ones. I'm... <laughs> I feel so silly, but it's been a long time since I've played a Lotad. He got a Lotad. Okay. Okay. Real quick. Option. Fast. Okay. And we will have our first battle. So, I did want this to be randomized because I wanted it to have a little bit of fun and adventure, but I didn't want it to be one of those crazy randomized where it's like, oh, you get Lu you get Lugia for your starter. And it's just, no, I'm not doing that. It can be fun, but I prefer to have the game to have a certain difficulty level that it's supposed to, and that's saying something considering I'm playing Pokemon, which is not very difficult unless you're actually playing against other people. I'm trying to get better to be- I'm trying to, uh, figure out how to be a, like a, tournament battler. I want to be able to go to nationals and try there, and I'm working on it, but it's hard. It's numbers, and I'm not good with numbers. Maddie is good with numbers. I am not. Maddie, go ahead and brag on the screen. I know you want to. Yes, yes. We're all very proud of you. Fucking Tyranitar. I hate her Tyranitar so much. I bred her a new Tyranitar and I'm kind of upset with myself for doing it. But anyway. Poison point! Oh yeah! What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? You know, Elota would have been a good pick because then I would have I had a water type to go against Brock. I didn't change any of the other traders, trainers' Pokemon. So. Oh, so, Blue is going to have a Charizard. And we're going to have a Nidoqueen. $80, yeah! Yes, yes. I know this. I'll make a Pokemon battle to toughen it up! Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so, yeah. I really wish I had a solid train of thought here. But I don't, and I feel silly. I'm doing this at 11 o'clock at night. I gotta go to bed as soon as I get this done and I get this ready to, tr to take down to Maddie for editing. Um, oh, why not? Oh, dear God, no. Why nots aren't terrible. I've never used one because they're a bitch and a half to train. But... So, I don't really have a clear line of thought right now. I was just thinking I have to get... Maddie videos to edit for tomorrow and I cannot put up two videos of amnesia in one week so I have to record something and I don't know didn't know what else I wanted to record so I said fuck it I'm gonna play some god darn Pokemon god yes god god darn Pokemon because that's what I've been wanting to play recently and I've been playing the butt off of my Pokemon Sapphire and yes I have Sapphire. I do not have Ruby. I have Sapphire because Team Aqua is the best team. And anyone who disagrees with me can go and lick a Rattata. Yeah. I know Maddie's arguing with me on the, in, on the screen right now because she's a huge Team Magma fan. But you know what? My leader's hotter, okay? You cannot lie to the Baratets. So, I can get a Rattata. Which is not a bad Pokemon to have. Level 7! 
I hate that you don't get running shoes right away in these games. I love that in X and Y you could just run immediately. You didn't have to do any of that shit. But this is what I get for playing the older games. Well, goody fuck. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. We hope to see you again. Yay! Thank you, Nurse Joy. So. I've never done a Nuzlocke where I was unable to keep Pokemon in the box. I've always had that option of going and training myself up from Pokemon in the box. So this will be interesting to not have that option to take. Okay. Oh, and just so you all know, there will be off-screen off training for this. Uh, mostly because there's no way I'm going to make you guys watch me grind. It's, that's just mean. And also, when I'm recording, I don't have the option of speeding up. Because that messes with the recording so badly. So, yeah. Note to self, get better mic setup. Because right now I've got to crouch over the mic for you to hear me properly like this. And if I sit up nicely the way I'm supposed to, you can't- I'm far away from the mic. There's a foot of space. It's terrible. So I gotta lean in close and that's making a fucking crick in my back. It's not good. Me? Uh, so I didn't tell you guys, I got fired from my job. Um, from my factory job. Uh, yeah, my car broke down. I wasn't able to get to work for a couple of days, and they were like, Welp, you missed work for two days due to completely legitimate reasons, so we're going to fire you. And that's what they did. But it was actually kind of cool, because the same day I got fired... Oh, shut up. Alright, sorry, that was my alarm saying I gotta wrap up this episode. We're gonna get this done, and then I'm gonna wrap it up, and we'll start the next episode immediately. And... Well, you'll see it in a week. I'm going to see it in 10 seconds. I delivered the parcel. Anyway. Uh, so I, my friend said, hey, we're hiring at this alteration shop I work at. You could call and uh, talk to the manager. And that's what I did. And then the manager was like, just come in Friday and we'll interview you. And the interview turned into me working there to, like, as a trial. And then I just, I was hired. And I've been working there ever since, and I really like it. Was not expecting myself to like it so much, because generally I don't like working with the public. Um, I don't like jobs where I have to dress up nicely, but I don't really mind it now, I guess. I guess I get to work with one of my good friends, and that really goes a long way as far as uh, liking where I'm working. And the people I'm working with are re like really genuinely nice. My manager is a sweetheart. She found out I'm kinky and she teased me about it all day, which was just hilarious and I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're not gonna- I don't need a town map! I have had fucking Kanto region met town map seared into my brain. Okay? Give me Pokeballs. Do you give me Pokeballs? Do I just have Pokeballs? No, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Bag. Yes. Okay. Nuzlocke has begun. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here. This is the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will see you next week with more of Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. Uh, see you then.